Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Monday. Happy Vlogtober day 21. It's 8.30 right now. We're making coffee. And I am using the instant coffee again today. The Nescafe Ice Roast. We're just using this. I kind of like this actually. It's like super easy. Okay, and then I already have my cup here, my tumbler with ice. We're gonna add some creamer. So delicious. You wanna say hi? It's so funny, he loves the camera. Okay, that's it. So good. actually um, it's Wednesday today I'm trying to edit my vlogs I realize I mean I know I'm like a few days behind but the one that I'm editing right now I realized I really didn't vlog anything except for like my cooking um, so I thought I would just like chit chat with you guys for a little bit actually I just saw on Instagram that magic keys go on sale on November 9th I think let me just double check. Oh, November 6th. So they said that the magic keys will go on sale. Do you, does anyone plan on getting a magic key? The prices did go up. So they're, I mean, they were already so expensive. Now they're even more expensive. The SoCal pass is like $600. The one that we have, which is the one right above the SoCal pass, it's the enchant key. Um, it went up $125. So um it's like 950 dollars which is like so crazy i just remember like the first pass that we ever got in 2013 i think i paid 350 dollars and that was like the deluxe pass which was like second to the highest pass <sighs> can we bring those prices back and i think the most i paid like before the pandemic was like 650 maybe something around that price so it's just, it's sad how expensive it's gotten, but whatever. Also, you guys, AJ is graduating from college next year, 2025. Well, he's in his senior year, so this is his last year, but, you know, graduation will be next year. And then Vanessa will most likely be transferring to um, San Bernardino State, which is where AJ goes, because right now she goes to a community college. And then she'll be transferring. I'm not sure if she's getting an associate's degree. I don't know if like her credits, um, like with the classes she's taking, I don't know if she's getting an associate's. I'll have to ask her. Um, but either way, it's like, you know, two big events happening next year. Well, along with our wedding, but like for the kids, I mean. So we are taking them on a graduation trip and we're going to New York next summer. I don't know if I actually mentioned it on here. I know I like mentioned it once on my Instagram, but yeah, we're taking them to New York for a whole week. They've both been to New York. Actually, all three of us have been to New York, but we all went when we were like much younger. They went with their schools and then I went with my parents like when I was maybe like a young teenager, like a tween, something like that. So it's been a really long time and Alfredo has never been to New York. And of course, Sebastian's never been to New York. So yeah, I'm trying to plan that right now. But hotel prices, you guys, are insane, especially for summer. I realize that like it's summer, it's more expensive. The hotel rooms are so tiny. A lot of them only have either like two full-size beds or like a queen-size bed or like a king-size bed. There are some with two queen-size beds, but then even then the rooms are so, so tiny. So I'm trying to look at hotels right now where we could get two rooms. 
uh, maybe like a king size bed in each room but they're just so expensive and I'm trying to stay around like three thousand dollars total for the hotel which I initially did not even want to spend that much on the hotels because I was like that's a lot of money on a hotel but then when I you know I seen all the prices and stuff then I quickly realized well we're gonna have to spend more than what I initially had planned because I was thinking like two thousand dollars you know for a whole week so yeah that's what we're currently trying to do and then just trying to like make an itinerary I've been watching like so many vlogs on YouTube if you guys have any suggestions let me know um but yeah we're trying to we're also trying to stay like near Times Square just so that we can like walk to a lot of the places we can take subways um you know of course if we stay further out the hotels will be much cheaper um but I I kind of just want to be like right there so we can just like walk everywhere like I said and then like subway because we have Sebastian so we don't want to have to take like Ubers or taxis just because of like the whole car seat situation and I did see that Ubers now have car seats in New York but the thing is I haven't seen any like bigger cars with the car seats just like four you know like four doors like sedans and we wouldn't fit in that so and I know like taxis you don't need a car seat technically but like mm, that's like so dangerous I don't know so yeah we just want to be like centrally located near all the like tourist attractions and stuff so that's making it more expensive too but yeah if you guys have any tips recommendations suggestions let me know leave a comment down below and yeah that's pretty much it um we're planning a trip to new york so i'm really excited i'm interested to see i'm wondering how that's going to be with an almost two-year-old because about we're going in june so he'll just be like 22 months june, July, yeah 22 months <laughs> but yeah i'm excited so yeah let me know you guys leave a comment any suggestions or tips?